Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley and today we have a special episode. And it's a special because we're going to be talking about a Sketch plugin that was just released this morning. And it's called Auto Layout by the Anima team. And I think it's just amazing. I just played around with it this morning and I said, wow, this is going to change my workflow. I have a demo ready, let's do it. To install this Sketch plugin, you want to go to their GitHub page. I put a link on the description, just go there and then you, you will just like follow the instructions. Once you download, you double click on the file and it should be fine. So here I have a demo on a Sketch file. Here, uh, let me just show you real quick what this does before we actually get to know how to do it. Once you have installed your plugin, you will see here uh, that here on the bottom right corner, you will see all the options for the Auto Layout plugin. And it's pretty simple. It has a simplified version and one that is uh, a little bit more complex. If you want to actually input all your information, you can do that, or you can just use a simple version of it. So let me just show you real quick what it does. Here I have an artboard, just a wireframe, just to show you what it, it does. I'm going to just resize my artboard and see the magic happen. All the different elements inside my artboard are just resizing in a smart way and the layout is automatically adapting depending on the size that I put. Right now, this is iPhone 7 and I want, let's say, let's say that I want to change it. I'm going to duplicate this and let's say that I want to change it to, uh, I don't know, to iPad Air and boom, right there, it just changed the artboard and all my layout uh, depending on how I adjust it to that size. Now let's see what happens if I want to generate multiple devices. I can go here and generate an overview of all the sizes and it just creates a different file. And I'm going to see that automatically adapts all the different sizes for me to just have an overview of all the different sizes. It's amazing, it's really cool. So I'm going to delete this and now let's actually get to see how to accomplish this with this plugin. So I have the same layout over here. Let me just demo first, let me try to resize it. And if I resize it, nothing happens because I haven't applied the outer layout. So let me show you what you actually do. Here, see that the, all these elements are even, they're not even groups, they're just like floating elements right now. And I can go over here to my outer layout. Let me uh, ex show this. And I have these little uh, dots that tell me uh, where do you want to pin your element. You want to pin it, pin it to the top, pin to the bottom, pin to the left, pin to the right. You want to center it horizontally or center it vertically. So here, for example, this little icon, I want to pin it to the top and I want to pin it to the right. And let me show more. Let me click more to show what's going on. Here I have more details. I actually, it's telling me, oh, so it's 16 pixels to the to the top and 16 pixels to the right. Uh, it, it is going to be fixed to that margin to that padding uh, according to the uh, layout of the artboard. So it is automatically detecting that. I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to do that with the points too. And then later if I, oh yeah, with those, so to the left and to the top. And if I wanted to actually change that, I can totally do that here. You know what? I actually want this to be, instead of uh, 16, I want it to be 24. 24 and there's this one 24 too. Let's do the same with this guy. Just, this is just a demo. 24 and now, if I resize my window, see? Oh, <laughs> let me see. Oh my God, look at that. How cool is that? So now let's let's do the same with all the elements. So this guy, the header is going to be to the top left and right. Oops, there you go. This guy, this guy, uh, the avatar, I want it to actually to be floating in the center. So instead of this, I'm actually going to uh, align it, uh, what do you call it, horizontally? Yeah, center horizontally. And I'm also going to, pin it to the top. And now if I resize my layout, my artboard, sorry, see how now it's it's always centered. And if I even move it like this, it will always keep the padding on the top. Oh man, this is, I, I, I'm i sorry, I, I'm telling you, this is this is also a reaction video because I'm, I'm still super amazed at the things that you can do here. So here, this elements, I actually want to group them first. Uh, I want to group them. They, they, right now, they're just cells that are uh, independent. Once that they're grouped, I want to pin them to the top and then also to the left and to the right. That way, it will they will stretch. So let me just pin them here. And let me move this over here so I can zoom in there. There you go. So, so see, I'm moving this, and now it resizes. And not only that, if I were to 
or to resize this, it's pinned to the top. See how that is not changing. It's not a stretching it. Uh, it's only a stretching to the sides because I pinned it to the left and to the right. Oh, man. And I'm telling you guys, I'm really excited about this. And then this guy is going to be pinned to the bottom, pinned to the left and to the right. And then um, and I can just, it resizes the CTA. I could have also, instead of probably my button, I don't want that it's the size of the button to change. So then I don't pin it to the left or to the right and I just align it horizontally. And that way it will be floating. It is like floating in space and it's just aligned, it's pinned to the bottom and centered. Ah, and I'm going to do actually do that with this icon too. It's centered and then pinned to the bottom. And now I have my layout ready. Oh yeah, I actually want to. I do want to pin this to the left and to the right. There you go. Oops, not to the top. There you go. Now I can duplicate this artboard again and then change it to iPad Air. Boom, boom. Look at that. That is so cool. So, so yeah, and, and, and I have other examples here. So for example, this is just a demo that I made. Uh, I made this, uh, this little guy. <laughs> I used uh, different plugins to do this. Uh, and look at that. It's just floating and everything, the layout, it's just perfect. It just does exactly what I want it to do. And let's change this to iPad Air. Boom, look at that. Here's another demo. This is for my uh, my startup, Carbon Health. And, and I said like, oh, I actually want to test this on a real project. This is uh, the build the build details when you have to pay, the patient has to pay something. So we, we're putting everything here and look at this. So let me show you first how I had it. So I had it before, I was using a pin to corner and everything, but if I wanted to resize something, I'll have to actually duplicate it and do the whole resizing here. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, oh my God. I just apply the same principles. So for example, this group, this group, I, I pin it to the bottom and to the left and to the right. So now uh, it, when I transform the, the uh, sorry, when I transform the artboard, it's pinned to the bottom and to the, to the right and to the left. So over here, I have another example. Just last example, just to show you what's going on. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, so much time is going to be saved. I'm so excited about this, so excited. Anyway, go go ahead and check it out. Uh, leave any uh, questions you have, and hopefully I get to see you soon. Subscribe and all that. Bye-bye, share, I don't know. Happy New Year. Love you, bye.